I love salads, especially if they are very fresh. I picked these from my backyard. I'm very, very happy that finally I could grow some, some salad. And I also have chive and parsley, all freshly picked. But my tarragon was, was kind of small, so all I could harvest was this piece. So I have a store-bought tarragon. This salad dressing is the tarragon is the flavor. We're gonna put some herbs too, but tarragon has a licorice flavor. It's a little bit strong, but very tasty. It has a bite to it too. So we pick just the leaves. You can always use the stems for some other cookings. I put them in lamb soups. The stems won't go bad. I usually keep a bag for like soups and stocks and things that I do. I don't throw away anything. If not, you can put it in compost, so give it back to the uh, soil. So I'm going to put about maybe half of this also. So it's about, not a handful, just maybe two tablespoons of tarragon. I love tarragon. I eat it with feta cheese, just raw like that. It's delicious. I'm going to use my tarragon from my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> to make it special. So I'm working on the dressing first. The tarragon. And then I'm going to put fresh lime. I love lemon and lime and salad. Uh, especially now you can get them even organic for the price of the conventional. So how awesome is that? I love garlic so I'm going to put couple of cloves of garlic in there. I'm going to bring this closer so we can see better and work better. So I crush a couple of cloves of garlic. If you like more, go for it. I don't mind to have three more, but I'm going to be easy on this one. I'll keep the rest for the second dish I'm going to cook soon. And then put my lime in there. It's very very juicy. Lime the way you pick him. Look at the skin. If it's very smooth, not very bumpy, that lime has a lot of juice. Some limes they're big but they're only mainly skin. There's no juice in them. So you have to be careful picking lime. The lemons are good too. Lemon, lime, you can mix them also if you like both of them. Uh, they're very, very good for you. High vitamin C, balancing pH, and all the good stuff. Now I'm going to put some of my Celtic salt. This salt is pretty salty, so I have to watch not to put too much. It's about half a teaspoon, not more than that. I'm going to mix this. I need my olive oil. I'm going to grab and bring it. And I love oil, so I just pour. I don't measure. You can put one tablespoon, two tablespoons, as you wish. When you whisk it, the tarragon kind of breaks down and creates flavor. That's why I do this instead of chopping it on top and mixing the salad. If you're creating a salad dressing that sometimes has been made for years, <laughs> but the fresh flavor is much better. So there's our salad dressing, just beautiful. Now for this salad, like I said, I have the greens. I even picked some of my um, charred greens because they were so little and so fresh. Uh, I use my charred green in the salad, even my beet greens because they're tiny. I'm going to chop them and use them as salad. So this salad has almost every leaf on the planet <laughs> in it. Uh, it's very fresh. I made it for my birthday and 
all my guests were just amazed by the flavor. So I just chop them coarsely. I'd rather not to use knife too much on the greens. Uh, it's better break them by hand, but we will spend time to do that. So this is my greens, and then I'm going to slice an apple and shred some carrots in this salad. It's going to be very fancy. Uh, some fruit helps with the digestion, especially the apple feeds the friendly bacteria. It's very good for you. You won't go to details in that. But um, if you eat salad before the food, so it's better to eat it before you eat your meal. I just chop them like cubes like that. It creates a beautiful color. Um, your salad is your rainbow color part of your food. So create as many colors as you can in your salad. And then the carrot will give it even some more. I'm going to shred some of the carrot just to make it look good and then we can slice the rest for people that have good teeth. <laughs> they can. It's actually very good for your gums to eat food that is hard. It massages the gums. So we'll just do that for the beauty. And we'll slice the rest. Don't cut like me, because I've been doing it for many, many years. Do it like other chefs do. Because if you cut like I'm cutting, you might cut your finger right there. But I know what I'm doing, so I, I don't cut myself. Now, because tarragon has a lot of flavor, I'm going to skip the rest of these. might put some chive in there. I have cilantro and parsley, but... As I was cutting, I thought, you know what, you can always change your mind of what you're doing. You do not have to stick with any recipes, just create your own. Make it up as you go. So I'm going to put the chai because I love onion and salad. Onion, shallot, any kind of onion is great. Delicious flavors. And then we're going to drizzle this beauty on it. This is not enough. I'm feeling like it's not enough dressing, but after I mix it, I will know. Um, you can always make more. There's not no harm in doing that. No one is perfect. You can always try and create more. I have to do this because all the flavors are stuck to the bottom of this so and then uh, you can leave it like that when your guests are coming or when you're ready to eat it then mix it together because if you mix it earlier you might get a very soggy salad because of the lime but these leaves are so fresh I don't think they'll get soggy that quick so this is a beautiful salad Enjoy and keep on watching.